J.R. Moore, my favorite memory at EMCC playing baseball here was when we went to Florida my freshman year and played for like two or three days at Chipola. I really just came here just to play baseball in the beginning. Uh, I didn't realize what it was going to turn into. I ended up loving it here, loving everything about it. You know, you don't really have anything in scuba. You just got your teammates, so that's really all there is. Uh, you just kind of bond together. You do everything together. You go to class together, eat together, play together, and that's every single day that you live here. So you don't realize what kind of family you'll turn into. Yeah, I came here. My brother, my brother was here the years before, and there's not really much to do in scuba. It's really just baseball, and you leave with the family here. It's... <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan Ladner. Uh, I chose East Mississippi because they were the first people to give me a chance. So as soon as I got the offer, I came here. Uh, I think what I'm going to miss most is living in the cots. I think that's the best thing about East Mississippi and probably the best selling point. One of my favorite memories is whenever we got in trouble and had to run for the longest time one night. It was like Coach Reeves did his fantasy draft while we were running and we didn't get to stop until he was done with the draft. Well, you get the horn, son. My name's Gates Skierhart. I came down here originally just to play baseball and after being here for two years, I can confidently say that it's so much more than that. I'm leaving with family that I'll have for the rest of my life whenever I need them. Coaching staff here has really made me feel more than just being a player here or a number here. They've pretty much treated me like a son, and that's something that I'll never forget. Can't thank them enough for. Right on me, battle three, one, two, three. Right. My name's Aiden Alsabrooks. I'm from Starkville, Mississippi. My favorite part about East Mississippi were the memories that I've made with all my friends, and I'm definitely going to miss going to a playoff game against Jones and staying in the hotel with all my buddies. That was one of the best experiences I've had playing baseball with my friends. Kobe said, you know, there's nothing to do here in Scuba. And I think that's what makes it so great. You know, there's not a lot to do here in Scuba, so you're not always off doing other things, you know, getting in trouble, stuff like that. You're, that's I think what really also makes everybody so close and so tight, because we're all right here together. There's nothing to do, so we make our own fun. things about scuba that I really liked is just the teammates and the bond we've all created. I mean, at scuba there's not much here, so one thing you rely on is your teammates and just the camaraderie and the bond you create with them is some things that will last forever with me. Like I'm sure some of these guys will be in my wedding one day, and you just love that. I mean, it's scuba, nothing here except woods, baseball field, football field, calf, I mean, you got two, jet, two gas stations and a subway. What else more could you ask for really? And a Dollar General, that's your local Walmart. But just building off of that, I mean, you love being with these guys every every day, every single day. You live with them, 10 feet away is your practice field. And I'm just gonna miss that more than anything, really. I know it's gonna hit me hard the next few weeks, not being able to see these guys ever again. But I'll definitely stay in contact with them. And then one of my favorite memories is being in the hotel with those guys, you know. We didn't know it was the last time, but we you, you had a feeling it may be, and so you just cherish every second with that. And that was the most fun I've had in three years this past few days, playing those tight games at Jones. I and mean, it didn't turn out the way we wanted to, but just loved every second of it. And I'm gonna miss this place for sure. And I'm glad to call it my home for three years. I came to East because uh, getting recruited out of high school, I had a school near my hometown that I didn't really click with. And 
found my way to scuba and just the coaches and you know the field and stuff like that just fell in love with it and I wouldn't change anything about it now I feel like God put me in the place I was supposed to be and I wouldn't, wouldn't go against it any other way I kind of ended up doing the same thing uh, had a few schools around the hometown that just didn't care anything for wanted to get out see new places and up here in scuba. It's, it's kind of how I roll with life, just kind of flow with the wind and wherever I end up is where I end up. I'm going to end up making the best out of it and ended up, I didn't have to make anything out of this place. It's done everything for me and would not change it for the world. Um, I think my favorite thing about East Mississippi and the reason why I came here is probably like just a living situation of like everybody's close together and everyone gets to like hang out together whenever they want they can go to each cod and just everyone gets together and you just get so much closer to your teammates and I think that's probably like the best thing is like because we all got really really close and I think that's why like on the baseball field we were 10 times better. So. Yeah I, so I chose East Mississippi because you know, you hear about the family field. A lot of schools talk about the family field. And I feel like, in a way, the family field doesn't mean the same to everybody. Here, everybody's really close to bounce off of what Evan said. The teammates, you're close, you're living together. The teachers, uh, it's a 18 to one teacher, uh, student to teacher ratio. So you're really, uh, you have a tight, tight relationship with your teachers. They can help you out with anything like that. Uh, that's just the big thing for me is family. I come from a really close, good family, so the family feel and being close to everybody really means a lot to me. So that's that's one of the reasons that really made me come to East Mississippi. Yeah, I'd piggyback off of what y'all said. Um, the biggest thing for me, I've got to be here three years and experience, you know, three different teams, and I would say we're all really close um, despite our differences. And uh, you kind of find your teammates that you kind of have something to come with, and there's not much difference to it. So, work hard on the field and then off the field, go hunt or fish or something, but definitely make memories that last a lifetime. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the hardest thing about uh, about junior college. You know, you never have that same team. You never have the same team more than one year, never. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you build those relationships, get as close as you can, and then you're on, it's a different team the next year. So really building that relationship. Coach Reeves has said it many times, and now since we're done, it really makes me understand, you know, the guys on this team will be the guys in my wedding and just the relationships, there's there's nothing like it. Yeah, for sure. I would <clears throat> just say, so sum up what they said, honestly, like the living situations and stuff, it's just <clears throat> it's just a, a really close-knit atmosphere. Like you come from there to the locker room to out here every single day with the guys and you're serious out here, you get work done out here, but after that you go back, hang out and you can um, really, like they were saying, just get really close relationships with them. The coaches, are, they've been uh, great to us personally as, uh, as guys. They've helped us as, as, as much as they can, and that's something that, that I'll never take for granted. Um, I love it here. love this place. love these guys. It's been awesome. <laughs>